name's Philip Martin, 37 years old. I have a wife, father to two, two children, six and four. They're growing up fast. What, how did you first know her? What was your first like, kind of feelings of being mentally ill? Is realizing I was homeless. I remember having the nice big house, the cars, decided to buy day nursery. We got married, wife was a month pregnant, but then we moved into the, the business and there was a couple of complications there. We had to rescind the, the contract and that, that basically kick-started a seven year long high court case. We had invested our future into it and then all of a sudden we're left with one income, wife pregnant, the, the plan was to build a house. That all just up in the air. If you're in a vulnerable position like that, then what they can do is they can try to break you. And the, the key objective is, is, you know, try to break that other person, break them financially, get into their mind, get into their marriage, get, get into all these different things and create turmoil in their life. That meant that I had to step up to the plate, that meant that I had to almost test my own boundaries, test my own reserves. Was there self-doubt? Was there fear? There was all those things, but I had to step up and become my own barrister, become my own solicitor and essentially take my own counsel. Ultimately, the, the only way that I could describe it is that it broke me. Things might look well, but behind the scenes, it, it was just an explosion of pain. And for me, it was almost like getting dressed in the morning. I had to, I had to put my smile on the same way. Probably have a nervous breakdown, never been diagnosed. But I remember for a period of time there, that I just lived in the car. It was easier for me to be away from my child, even on its first Christmas. That's not logical, none, none of that was logical, so that was probably like the, the major thing that made me realize, you know what, Phil, you, you are mentally ill. I would love to be able to help people that are, that are in that position right now. It should no longer be an, an invisible illness that, that people just don't see or, or avoid. We're essentially gonna road trip it through Chile. There we have basically a three week journey and head out into the Atacama Desert, one of the driest places on earth, on our way to the world's largest active volcano. I don't know if you can do it, but it's, it's worth the risk of failure. I started to realise that those goals came about as part of my healing process. Ultimately, I just want to use this expedition as a vehicle to start a conversation around mental illness. It's a personal journey of me testing my own limits. I think I'm going to hit rock bottom. I believe that we're going to find the breaking point. And my heart to know that we can do it.